Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pella, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. I'd like to start out this morning with a scripture reading from John chapter 7, verses 37 through 52. On the last day of the festival, the great day, which while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the Spirit which believers in him were to receive. For as yet there was no spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. When they heard these words, some in the crowd said, This is really the prophet. Others said, This is the Messiah. But some asked, Surely the Messiah does not come from Galilee, does he? Has not the scripture said that the Messiah is descended from David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So there was a division in the crowd because of him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. Then the temple police went back to the chief priests and Pharisees, who asked them, Why did you not arrest him? The police answered, Never has anyone spoken like this. Then the Pharisees replied, Surely you have not been deceived too, have you? Has any one of the authorities or of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, they are accursed. Nicodemus, who had gone to Jesus before, and who was one of them, asked, Our law does not judge people without first giving them a hearing to find out what they are doing, does it? They replied, Surely you are not also from Galilee, are you? Search and you will see that no prophet is to arise from Galilee. As our scripture reading for this morning, and if you will, please join me now in a time together in prayer this morning. Let us now pray together. Dear God, we thank you today for the sky and the sun, for both remind us of a new day's challenge and chance to chase after you. Thank you for reminding us that life is not always going to be easy, but that we don't have to carry the burdens we go through into each new day. Forgive us for dwelling on the past and for holding on to grudges. We pray to be guided by you, Lord, to be held back by nothing as we seek you each day. Whether we talk to our spouses or strangers, friends or family, please let your spirit be seen through our actions with one another as we go out into your world today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you right here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great Monday today.